Hey, it's Emily, and today we're going to put the GoPro Hero 5 camera and the Shot Cam camera to the test and see how well they do against each other. Now, the GoPro can be mounted to your shotgun using the Sportsman gun mount. Put clamps onto your barrel, and the total weight is 9.2 ounces. The Shot Cam can be mounted using the included 12 gauge bracket, and the total weight is only 5.5 ounces. One interesting thing about this bracket is that it has a patented shock absorption system, which reduces the barrel vibrations from 1000 Gs to only 25 Gs through the camera electronics. You'll see this in the video quality, but we'll get to that later. When you get the GoPro Hero 5, the default setting is a wide field of view in 4K by 30 frames per second. Here's what a shot looks like in that mode. Right off the bat, you can see that the trap and clay look too far away, so I've optimized the camera for shooting conditions. I've changed it to the narrow field of view and selected the full HD by 120 frames per second. When it comes to shooting, the more frames the merrier, so full HD is our best bet. Here's that same shot, but with the new setting selected. It still looks far away because the GoPro's narrowest field of view is 64 degrees. Let's compare this to the shot cam's only 18 degree field of view. This is a more accurate representation of what the shot looked like from the shooter's perspective. Now the next big difference between these two cameras is how they stand up to the gun's recoil. Here's the GoPro footage slowed down frame by frame. You'll see the distortion during the recoil, then the movement of the camera mount. The GoPro flips back during the recoil and ends up facing the ground. Let's watch that same shot, but from the shot cam's perspective. You'll see there's minimal distortion during the recoil, then it's steady enough to see the wad and pellets traveling towards the clay. The bracket design mentioned earlier reduces the barrel vibrations so that the camera doesn't move during the recoil. Now the crosshair in the center of the shot cam videos is not just an X in the middle. It's another patented system that allows you, the shooter, to align it to your own point of aim. You just mount the camera, connect to its Wi-Fi with your phone, then align the reticle to reflect where the beat of the gun is. Without this reticle, or crosshair, you can't really see where you were. When putting the shot side by side, you can see that the crosshair reveals where the shooter was. This reticle will help you correct your hold point, break point, follow through, etc. Lastly, we'll cover the self-editing technology of the shot cam and how that affects the process of reviewing your videos. If you're using a GoPro, then you'll need to turn it on and off between stations and remember to press the record button before each shot. But with the shot cam, you just turn it on at the beginning of the day and forget about it. It has an accelerometer which registers forces and detects when your action is closed, then saves your video if there's a recoil. It then automatically slows down your video to one third speed so that it looks like it did in real life. You won't need any editing software and every video is time and date stamped. So as you can see, the GoPro is an awesome video camera for capturing the experience at the range. But when it comes to using a camera as a learning tool, the Shot Cam is a clear winner. Thanks for watching.